Hi there, I'm Renee Hobbs. I'm going to talk to you about how teacher motivations shape digital learning. What I'm really interested in about is the art of creating a media literacy learning environment. And that's partly why being here at DML has been so exciting, because all of you are creating these learning environments where you're exploring uh, and expanding the concept of literacy, looking at multitasking and transmediation, but also looking at issues of representation, of surveillance, of propaganda, uh, and really thinking about the dynamics, about the opportunities and the risks. I want to introduce you to my daughter. Can you see the family resemblance? Are there any parents in the audience? Raise your hand. Oh, proud parent moment. My daughter, Rachel, she's an activist. Uh, she worked at the Powerful Voices for Kids project, and she taught third graders uh, in a really dynamic experience, kind of accidentally introducing them to study something third graders don't normally study, the issue of homelessness. When they had an accidental encounter with homeless people, she spent 10 days of her, of her learning experience teaching kids about uh, homelessness. They ultimately made a 14-page comic where they integrated their learning from interviewing homeless advocates, um, and it was thrilling. Um, so now I'm involved in a big project teaching other kinds of teachers besides my own daughter, and I've discovered that teachers have different motivations for digital learning. Here are some of the 120 people who attended the Summer Institute in Digital Literacy. Like, for instance, Teacher 2.0. She's really interested in using the power of connected learning to, uh, to connect her middle school students in uh, Massachusetts to um, middle school kids in Turkey as kids experience the power of learning about people who are culturally different. Here's the spirit guide. She uses poetry and film to teach about different representations of kindness as her way of illustrating how people use art to represent our ideals. That's why I'm really interested in exploring educator motivations for digital learning. And I created a digital learning horoscope because I love horoscopes. Are there any horoscope lovers in the room? Yes. And how about people who like to take quizzes? Anybody like to take quizzes? Yes. So take the quiz and find out what's your motivation for digital learning. Are you a trendsetter uh, by connecting to popular culture? Are you a motivator trying to engage uh, learners? Are you a professor who wants your students to gain content knowledge? Perhaps, I bet you are, teacher 2.0 helping use technology to connect with and learn from others. Uh, well, here's my profile. When I took the test, uh, which is available at PowerfulVoicesForKids.com, I found out I'm a demystifier. That's no surprise. I like to ask how and why questions, pulling back the curtain on how media are constructed. But I'm also a tastemaker, and I am a watchdog. That's why I created uh, Mind Over Media, analyzing contemporary propaganda. It's a user-generated content website where you can upload examples of contemporary propaganda and you can rate them uh, on a scale from beneficial to harmful. That's because I'm really interested in the dialectic between empowerment and protection. I really am aware that part of what I'm dealing with as a media participant, consumer, and creator is this love-hate relationship. And I think it's really important for all of us as educators to, re in, to reflect on our own values and motivations for why we do this work. That's why I created the quiz, because I wanted the quiz to be a, a tool to promote reflection among educators as they thought about why they were doing their work. But I realized in creating the quiz that reflection is a social practice, that it isn't something where you go off in a room by yourself and think about your motivations. You actually engage in a dialogue with others. That's how you discover what matters most to you. So when I encountered this crazy techie, Kristen, right? And she really loves these new tools and technologies, and I am definitely not a techie. My techie score is very low on the quiz. But she showed me how to use a powerful tool like Flipgrid to support online learning. And that's why now I'm teaching graduate school fully online, because I discovered there are tools that reflect my values as a person who's interested in creating a dialogic space for learning to happen. So the reason why digital learning forces us to reflect on our motivations is because we may be able, as we reflect on our motivations, to deepen our respect and trust, our appreciation of diversity in all its many forms. Thanks very much.